uh, bonjour, bonjourne. Uh, I really should be catching up on my French. Okay, so I've been hearing a lot about this book, um, either on Twitter and what my YouTube friends are talking about, so I decided to pick it up and see what's all the fuss about, and that is the Infinite Loop issue number one. I have the variant cover for it. So the story is about a woman that travels through time and fixes time anomalies, and when she's not doing that, she time races with her friends throughout time, different time periods. And it's really, really a fun scene to look at. Um, and I can show you a page that is suitable for this. Here you go. She's just traveling through time with her friends. It's a really awesome concept. Um, there's also this theory that she explains called the infinite loop where she explains that love is the cause of all this hatred against people who are, um, who are, uh, same sex, relationship, uh, different, uh, different religion, um, interracial, so it's, it's really a, a different, different type of book I've read. It's very interesting, so you would have to read this to really understand what, what's going on in this book. Overall, I thought this was a pretty, pretty good book, so make sure to pick this one up, guys. Next on the list, and one of my personal favorites, is The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. This is issue 4 with a very Street Fighter-looking cover. This is the issue where she finally fights Galactus and defeats him. So if you guys want to know what happens and how she defeats it, I suggest reading this issue. Ah, yes, and now we have Zombie Tramp issue 10. I saw it at my comic book store. I recently read uh, a few of the issues before, so I picked this one up. It's really, really funny. Uh, it has very sexy zombie uh, queenish kind of thing where she fights other zombie abominations and there's a uh, zombie witch hunter kind of thing. So it's a really, really interesting and funny book. It's very raunchy. So if you want to check this one out, check this one out. Now for my back issues of what I have so far, and that is uh, Supergirl 37 when she's in the Crucible Academy. This is part two. Um, I'm wishing I can get 36, I just can't find it. So I picked this one up. Um, really good series um, with, this, with this team, so yes. My second back issue is Giant Days. This is the second printing of the first issue and I just love it. Basically, these are just um, three college women who are best friends and it and it shows and they do and they do some kind of dare where one of them doesn't have to do it does, doesn't do uh, cause any drama and if they do they have to give a back massage. So it's a really down-to-earth comic which I really did enjoy. Last but not least, I have one trade and this is gonna be cool because because this is Adventure Time, uh, Marceline, and the Scream Queen. So what is in this book is basically uh, the two leading ladies from Adventure Time, Princess Bubblegum and Marceline, are taken up front in the story where they go all around the land of Ooh and play um, their punk rock show. Marceline is the basis of her own band, and Princess Bubblegum is the manager. Now this book deals with a lot of elements such as insecurity, criticism, self-doubt, and by the end of it, you're gonna feel like, oh, okay, we, we, we learned a lesson, this was a nice ride, this was a nice adventure. Whether or not you're still interested in this book, I suggest reading this just for the sake of being, you know, just fun and contributes to music and how musicians like myself feel around uh, criticism and fan and the pressure. So, yes. Marceline and the Scream Queen was a excellent ride. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Thank all my subscribers for watching it. Thank all my Twitter friends for watching this video. It really means a lot to me that you guys are watching this video and you have little chit chats with me and you guys recommend me awesome books. Um, I probably wouldn't be getting half these books if I didn't know some of you were reading it. So thank you guys so much again for watching this video. Stay tuned for more and also here are my schedules. Um, for the first part, um, I do uh, work, so I might or may not have time to do all this stuff that I'm doing right now. Um, usually when I post comic book hauls, I either do it on Wednesday or Thursday because I just, you know, I have a busy schedule and I have to work around that. And I might post a video um, on either Saturday or Sunday, maybe even earlier that, or something on my, on my music channel, which you guys can also check out too. 
So that is it guys. I hope to see you guys soon and hear your comments. Thank you guys so much for watching.